the Bills have an issue at running back, right? So, of course, the scouting combine's going on right now, and you see Elijah Holdingfield running like a long snapper, and you go, okay, well, cross him off the list. Come on, he's not as fast as Reed Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> there was an incident, and I'm bringing it up because I know it's going to be talked about. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm going to. Did you see the tweet about Holyfield? No. Think of Holyfield. Holyfield's dad has knocked out guys faster than he ran the 40. <laughs>
when you have a guy that's waived, you might be able to control him for the next couple of years, right? Isaiah McKenzie's a perfect example of that. He was waived, the Bills picked him up. Mm -hmm. Bills control him for the next couple of years because of the way that these contracts are all structured. So can you deal with, do you take the chance on a player like Alex Collins with the off the field stuff? Financially, it's fine. Financially, you're gonna be winning, okay? Yeah. As far as the type of player he is, he's a pretty, pretty good running back, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just, just hasn't had that much opportunity, I guess. And the opportunities he has had, I don't know. You, the Ravens had trouble getting any kind of consistency out of their offense. Right, but he's a banger. Like he's, oh, yeah, yeah. That's, you need to understand the yeah. role that he plays. Um, but as far as the culture fit, um, I think he would have to come in with the understanding that, hey, listen, you know, we, we could pull the ripcord as fast as we got you here. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um if he helps your team, I'm I'm all for it. However, I just don't know if that type of player recently getting waived, having that um, getting arrested, I don't know if that's one of those things that they really want to bring in right now, especially around draft time. Yeah. It would definitely throw a wrench in a lot of other teams that if you sign Collins, but okay, the Bills were looking for a running back. Right. If they already got one, are they going to draft one? Exactly. Yeah, even if, you, even if you're just kicking the tires on him and you just want to take a look, because you could pick them up and work them out and then say, yeah, no, not for us. And then you can wave them yeah. again. You can play this game all day long. You know, like you're unfortunately in the top 10 of the draft this year, which means you're also in the top 10 of the waiver priority. So yeah. go ahead and play the game, right? That's all They've it is. They've been doing this the whole time. Play, exactly. Why stop now? Right, exactly. You're playing the game. Do I fault them for not picking up Alex Collins in the waiver wire? No. Would I fault them for, for trying it? Well, I understand the media would probably lose their mind over it, but the fact is, you're not committed to this kid. You're not. You're bringing him in. You're going to see what happens, and then that's you're probably going to walk away. That's some of the common misconceptions away. that go on with that. Right. You know, that is some of the, oh, oh really? They're going to pick, the, they can cut him tomorrow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If he doesn't pass their physical, quote yeah. unquote, and every gonna, team has their own individualized physical. Right. He would cost them basically nothing to bring in and basically nothing to get rid of. Like, it's... It's easy, and, and and unfortunately, he doesn't really have a choice. If he gets picked up by waivers in Buffalo, he's got to come or he doesn't play. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. He comes or he has abandoned his contract. And if he's technically abandoned, when he wants to come back, guess what? He's still with the Bills. The Bills would have to release his rights. That's how this stuff works. Thank you, CBA. Right. The CBA really screwed the players, man. <laughs> they fought for that. We had to deal with replacement referees, and we had to... We had to deal with a lot of stuff during the lockout, you know. Let me just put it to you this way. The lockouts didn't work well for anybody that's locked out recently. The only people that won were the owners. And yeah. they did some they did some good things in the CBA. They had the I, their heart was in the right place. Mm -hmm. But you could see the writing on the wall as soon as they gave all team control of rookies or all the rookies to to push them all to team control and took away the rookies' leverage, mm -hmm. that veteran players were gonna suffer because teams could just burn, turn and burn rookie players. Don't worry about develop, de developing them. Yeah, By the time you're done developing them, they're they're expensive, so don't can, worry about developing them. It completely amplified the uh, importance of the draft and trying to get guys cheap. Right. The and, cheapest option. But Alex Collins is a, is a premier example of that. Here's a guy that was, you know, you brought him in. He was on a one-year contract in Baltimore. You brought him back on a one-year contract because he was an exclusive rights free agent. You're paying him nothing. He's going to make nothing for the next two years. But he started for your squad last year. Kick the tires, man. That's how I like about it. That's, yeah. a, that's a great phrase. Kick yeah. the tires. And if he has trouble with his tires, you fire him. That's him exactly. You let him go. <laughs> let him go. Then he can go work it done. Right there, champ. Mm -hmm. No. Trust the Midas touch. I could sing car jingles all day long. Holy mother of God! That almost ended up on the entire <laughs> dashboard. You gotta let me know. For you. <laughs> <laughs>